Hey y'all, it's Corey Ramon and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm really excited. So it's been a long awaited YouTube video for the absolute longest. And today is the room tour vlog or the room tour video. So um I've been getting several comments on, you know, posting a room tour. So I'm finally gonna do one. Um my roommate is actually out of town right now. She went home for the weekend, but I did get permission to record, you know, some of her um half her a little bit of half her room half of her side of the room i won't go into full detail just because she's not here so i just want to say make sure you continue to like and comment and subscribe make sure you are subscribing um also send me like some videos y'all y'all would want to see like um let me know in the comments my instagrams all that good stuff let me know what you want to see so i can get it out for you guys um i'm probably gonna do a day in the life video on monday because those are like my more productive days because i have more classes so um stay tuned for that be on the lookout for it okay so before i actually start this video i wanted to give like a quick little you know insight on certain themes so for freshmen there are three housing options for freshmen and coming freshmen you have cougar village one cougar village two and moody towers so um I, from what I know, most freshmen do either CV1 or CV2. Like, people mostly do Moody if it's, like, full and there's literally nothing else. Because Moody has communal bathrooms and, you know, not a whole lot of people want that. So, a lot of people try to get into the CV1 and CV2. So, with that, if you are looking to go to UH, make sure you do your housing early because things do get filled up pretty quickly. Um, so, I live in Cougar Village, too. It is one of the more popular dorms and between the freshman ones, it's the most popular and it's actually the most expensive out of the freshman dorms. Um, CV2 was built in 2013. Um, so Cougar Village one is an older one and Moody Towers is one of the first ones. So it's even more older. Um, so with that being said, there's like a lot of different things from like CV1 and CV2. So with CV1, I know you do get like a bathtub in your in your bathroom for like CV1, but in CV2, you do not. Also, um, those curtains back there, like CV2, you get, you know, you don't get like a glass door in CV1, you do. So it's just like different things that, you know, what you like might, might prefer um, CV1. Your bathtub and your toilet is all like in one, like one little room, like it's one big bathroom. So if you want that, then that CV1, CV2, it's like separated. So on one side you have your your toilet area, and then the other side you have your just your shower. You just only get a shower in CV2. So there's you have your two choices. I prefer, like, I prefer, you know, that be separated. Your, like, toilet and your bathroom is separated. So, you definitely have some options, you know, on what you would like. Um, so, it's definitely to a pre preference for real. But, um, you'll make the right choice. I'm sure you will. So, I believe that's it. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. Oh, CV1 CV1 has three elevators that just go straight up and CV2 has about four so you have your north side of CV2 and you have your south side of CV2 and there's two elevators on each side so um there's that um there is a kitchen on each floor I'm not 100% sure with CV1 I, I'm, I'm not sure but I know there's a kitchen on each floor that you have your oven and you have um yeah, just an oven. Oh, and a microwave. And that's about it. Um, in CV1, I know they have stoves, but CV2 doesn't. CV2 just have ovens. I'm not sure if CV1 has a, sto a stove and an oven, but I know they do have like the stove tops. But they don't have an oven. So, also, um, people also be asking like, you know, 
do you have access to both? No, you don't. Whichever one you live in, that's the one you have access to. Access, like, to you have, like, a key card that you have to use to get it in and out of the building. Well, not out, but in the buildings to go up to your floor and to go into your room. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm not sure what Moody has. I just know Moody has the communal bathrooms. So I never been in Moody before like that, but they, you can go on the website and look at pictures. Granted, the pictures may not be the best because they're really outdated, but take a tour. Yeah, but anyways, um, let's get to this video. This is what it looks like in the halls of CB2. Those elevators, more rooms and study areas. These are the RAs. RAs on each floor. Those down there are elevators right to, to, to the right. More rooms, study halls, and the kitchen is on the left. So yeah, this is my room. And yeah. And your sinks right here. So this is me and my roommate's room and our suite mates. And this is the toilet area, and that is the shower area. So then when you come in, this is what our room looks like. I have a, we have a mirror under the back. It's a little dirty, soggy. So when you come in, you just have your standard way of the dorm. You can like mix it how you want like i know some people have their bed like this way and then the other person has theirs like that i mean we obviously can't because we have a lot of stuff that we're working with so i'm just gonna start at the closet and then work my way back so this is our closet um like i was saying cv1 has like the glass doors where you move them and close them we didn't CB2 doesn't, so we just got curtains because we didn't want like our clothes to be showing because it just it makes it look a little bit a little bit better. So yeah. And then I have my bath towels and my robe. And then here I just have my calendar. You know, you gotta have a calendar. I need to change the calendar. Like right now, I have a test due today. I have my microwave speaker um toilet wipes toilet spray um i have my whoops freezer not a whole lot but it's something you know a lot of junk food but it is what it is we got this when it was homecoming week i believe and then like i said not a whole lot of food need to go to the grocery store but we're not gonna talk about that and then we're gonna move along. This is my desk chair. It's really like this, but I didn't like the black like that. I just didn't like that. So I just put a, a blanket over it and put like a pillow. Then I keep my trash and my school backpack, gym backpack, and my makeup bag up under there out of the way. And then, whoops, here is my mask. Gotta stay protected. Um, Amira, the light does work. I just, I don't know. I don't really use it that much. And then it's a little junky, but I have my AirPods, my lashes, makeup area. Um, I keep kind of my school supply stuff here and stuff like that. This is a makeup palette, like an eyeshadow palette. Um, a little light thing that I got at a concert um and then here just the basic stuff lysol books you know perfumes all of that good stuff then this is me and my roommate when we first met um yeah i got this little graduation thing when i graduated this little light it comes on it's actually really cute yeah, I keep some jewelry here or whatnot. It's a little bit, a little bit of everything on that. 
a mask that I got when I had like did this masquerade party. Um, and then this is you know like my drawer with all my stuff in it or whatnot clothes. This just a lot of random purses, like a lot of random bags that I got that I didn't really have nowhere else to put it. And then this is the nice, comfortable bed. I love it. It put me straight to sleep every single night. But yeah, so if you can get this way. And then up under it, it's just literally all my stuff. Like it's just a lot of shoes. It does look a little bit more organized than this, but I just, there's no point in keep fixing it because it's just gonna keep getting messy. My other shoes, my luggages, and like like bags that I have to take if I go home. These are like snacks and foods, um, like tea right here. This is like a male meal tea, it's really good. Um, syrup, just a lot of stuff. My utensils, plates, bowls, cereal, cause I love me some cereal. But that's that up under there. I should have got like a little skirt to go up under it, but I just didn't. I just didn't feel like doing all that, even though I did do a lot. But yeah. But anyways, this is the curtains. These are actually blackout curtains, so they're nice. I 10 out of 10 recommend getting blackout curtains. They're just, they just do different. Then these are all my pictures that I have of like friends and family. And then my roommate got this dorm suite dorm. It just went perfectly in the middle. Um, yeah. And then in here, I just have a bunch of everything. I mostly keep all my like scarves and stuff in here. Not scarves, but like head rags and bonnets and stuff. And then I keep like my journal. Um, just mis miscellaneous school stuff. Nothing too crazy. Oops, let me put this back. Nothing too crazy. And then in this one, it's a little bit more organized. This one has like more perfumes and stuff that I just couldn't place it all on my little dresser thing over there. A bowl, some a waffle maker, some notebooks, binders. Those are other school supplies that I just couldn't fit anywhere else. So yeah. And then this is also like a little picture thing, but I had nowhere else to put it. So it's just kind of right there, but it's actually really cute. It's super cute. More of like family and friends, my mommy. And then um, some gel and stuff. Also that 10 foot charger, I highly recommend getting a 10 foot charger. You're gonna, you're gonna thank me. So then this is my roommate's side. This is her side, her lights, pictures, things like that. Then this is her desk area. This is how she did her side. So it, it really just depends how you want to do, you know, your stuff. And then this is her like food area, like her kitchen area, you know, so. Yeah, then all her like bath stuff and all her organization stuff. So also um we got some rugs. This is one big rug, and then these two are well these two, but this we made it look like one big rug, but they're actually like two different rugs. So yeah, and then that little stool is where her she keeps all her like snacks and stuff like that in there, like her chips and stuff. And then that's my little stool. So yeah. Also, um with the refrigerators, each dorm comes with one refrigerator. She just brought that on her own. And so um we just I just kind of got lucky, you know, I get my own refrigerator, but you do only get one refrigerator per dorm. And also it does not, the dorms do not come with a microwave. So you do have to bring your own microwave. 
just because they have microwaves on each floor in the kitchen but it's just a lot easier when you can go from your bed right there to your microwave opposed to having to go all the way out there you know so we have a really good view like it's so nice it's really nice we have a really good view of downtown houston it's really beautiful at night it's pretty nice so yeah so essentially this is what our room looks like at night um that's why i say get the blackout curtains obviously if it's dark outside that would be dark so it would be 10 times a little bit more darker but that's why i say get the blackout curtains because it just makes it a whole lot better i promise um and then even with the light it looks better now it just says our name but um yeah we put a lot into our room to make it look really nice so you can essentially make it how you want to Okay, so that is it for their room tour. That was about it. Nothing too crazy. Um, I would just say make the most of it. Um, if you want to go all out, go all out. Like it's going to be 100% your choice. Um, I mean, you're just going to be the one who has to move all that in. But some people have really basic rooms and they still look nice. Some, some people have really over the top rooms and they still look nice so you just put your own you know style to it um also you know if you are a freshman which is pretty standard at any college you do have to get a meal plan every freshman is required to get a meal plan while being on campus so that is another thing to think about they can get a little bit expensive but um I don't know. it's required nothing I can do about it but um like I said there are three freshman housing choices which is Moody Towers Cougar Village 1 and Cougar Village 2 so whichever one you prefer that'll suit your needs then do that if you have any questions that you know you will want me to answer about the housing things or anything of relevant to you know the university then let me know um, I could possibly give you guys some advice, you know, about, you know, the whole enrollment process or trying to get into the school process. Let me know. I'll do be happy to make a video about it. Or if you just want to ask a question, please feel free to DM me on my Instagram or follow me on my socials and we'll just ask me. I promise I'll do nothing but help. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you. We're on the road to about 50 subscribers. So thank you so much for continuing to come back and watch my crazy self. But anyways, bye guys. I hope you have a blessed day.